All right, we are still waiting for that planned reception of our newly liberated Kaduna school children. But while we are at it, we're now being joined from Kaduna by a RISE correspondent, Nisi Gabriel, for a quick update. Good morning, Nisi. How are you? Good morning, oh. OJ. I'm fine. I'm fine. All right. Can you tell us if there's any new development from what we've heard so far? Are the, have the children arrived at the government house? And do you know how they were released? Were they rescued or were they actually uh, freed by the bandits? Do you have any information if ransom was paid? Well, uh, we are right here at the Sakashim Ibrahim House. That's the Kaduna State Government House, where the state's governor, Governor Obasani, is uh, built to receive the released school children. Well, and uh, there's now a statement from the defense headquarters as regards the number of students that were abducted earlier on uh, March 7th. So, according to the defense headquarters, the released hostages totaled 137, comprising 76 females and 61 male. So according to the defense headquarters, and that statement was put out by Major General Edward Buba, who is the Director of Defense Media Operations. So according to that statement, what it tells us now is that the students that were abducted, it contradicts the earlier figure that, were, that was put out there by the, that uh, teacher of that school. Because I remember when we went to that local government alongside the governor, the teacher did say the number of persons that were abducted was 287. But, well, after, I want to believe that much due diligence has been done and the school register has been looked into and now the defense headquarters is coming out with a statement saying that 137 persons were rescued and they comprised 76 females and 61 male. So these persons, these hostages, the released hostages are expected to be received here in Cardinal State, at the Cardinal State Government's house by the governor. And as I speak to you, uh, there are a lot of movements around. It shows that indeed something like that is going to happen. But what we we'll also know is that in the course of today, the state governor will be meeting with uh, families of these uh, 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 released hostages, at least just to interact and interface with them. So that's that for now. As regards whether ransom was paid, well, it's still a little bit sketchy. But what we do know is that the Cardinal State government and also the federal government had always has, have always maintained that they will not negotiate with these terrorists. Well, how the school children were released or rescued, it's yet to be uh, uh, clear. It's still sketchy. But in the course of the day, that information might come out. OG. Well, thank you very much, uh, Nisi, for bringing us up to uh, speed. And uh, we, are, we are also hearing that a teacher may, may have died in captivity, captivity. I don't know if you are privy to that information. Well, uh, like I said, the, uh, you know, it's a developing story. And for that information, I'm not privy to it. But in the course of the day, as the day unfolds, the governor is already in the government's house making arrangements and making plans to see how he will receive these uh, released hostages. And uh, as for the teacher, it's not clear for now, but I do know that before the end of today, everything will be made clear and will be, will, will, will be filled in as to the number of hostages that are coming to the government's house, how many persons died, if any. But for now, it's yet unclear. Right. Well, Nisi Gabriel, thank you very much for your amazing reporting, as always.